Hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi again from Supple Chic and in today's video I'll be showing my top coats and jackets for autumn and winter for 2016. But before we get into it, are you subscribed? If you are not subscribed, please do me the greatest honor by considering subscribing down below also if you're not following me on instagram check me out on instagram for daily fashion and style inspiration also follow my blog for shopping guides tips tricks and even more outfits and finally follow me on snapchat for behind the scenes shenanigans okay so it's officially what are all the tags that we use? Cuffing season? What does that even mean? I don't know. Y'all tell me in the description bar. Um, sweater weather, coat season, holidays are here or almost here depending on when this video goes up. Basically, it's time to pull out those coats. So in this video, I'm going to kind of share the category of coats um, that you need in your wardrobe. And of course, everything I talk about in this video will be linked down below. Now, definitely when you're plus size, finding great coats that are fresh, new, on trend, and affordable tends to be quite difficult. On my hands, I can actually count the stores that actually keep up with trends when it comes to outerwear in the plus size market. But the great thing about coats is kind of, most of the time, it's all classic. So there, there might be like one or two new styles a year. But for the most part, it's basically classics. And so I'm just going to share with you some of the trendier ones and some of the classics that we all need in our wardrobe. So let's start with the first category. The first category would definitely be bombers. Now I have... Um, this is a thicker bomber. There are different weights of bombers. There are really lightweight ones, the medium weight ones, and the thicker ones. And this is a thicker bomber. This one I picked up for, or I got, was sent to me by, um, Pink Club Wear. And it's a thicker bomber. I featured it on my blog once. I think I will be adding it to my closet sale just because I don't love the fit on me. I feel like I should have sized up. So if you're a smaller size than me, I got this in a 3XL and it's a little crap for me. I would have liked it if it was a little bit looser, if that makes any sense. It's not tight. I just, it's just a little more cropped than I would like. Um, and this one is, again, I got this in a 3XL, so the 3XL to me fits kind of like a 1X or 2X in like women's sizes. So if you're around that range, I will, I will, might be adding it, I'm not sure yet, but I will link my store down below, my closet sale store. Um, it's just Shop Supple Chic at Store Envy, but I will link it down below. Um, so... Um, that you guys can follow the store and when I start adding new stuff you'll know. Now my newest bomber will happen to be this one. I featured it in my last lookbook and if you haven't checked that out I will definitely link it down below or annotate it in this video. And the next one is definitely this bomber. This one I got from Forever 21. It says California on the back. Various things drew me to this, the first being the piping, the black, the white, and the silver. It's really cool. I love the satin sheen. Again, that would be, I would say that this would be definitely the trendiest of jackets. So this fall, it's all about the bomber. So if you don't have one, definitely I will link the same or similar items down below. Now the next coat that you must have in your wardrobe is a great um is a great camel coat i've been on the hunt for the right camel coat in my price range for a couple of seasons now this one i picked up from h m studio collection i got this while i was in new york for fashion week i got this in the size 12 this is not plus and it's actually big for me i should have gotten it at a size 10. um it has a tie and this if you have my type of shape which is like an hourglass slash p 
pear shape these type of coats are the best for you because i find that boyfriend style coats don't work for me they just it just look weird, especially because my proportion up top is small, smaller than my proportions on the bottom. So that's a tip. If you're a pear shape, always try and look for coats that cinch around the waist, which is why I love this one. This has so many details. It has an exaggerated lapel. Um, it's double breasted, I think. It's a double breasted style. It has the little tie around. It's almost like a hybrid coat slash trench and it hits me right below my knee so definitely this was a little bit pricey more than i normally would like but after i tried it on and after looking for so many years i was just like you know what she should just spend the money and forget about it i also have another camel coat which is a boyfriend style which is why i'm saying don't buy boyfriend styles if you have you know a pear shape um and i will probably be adding that to my closet sale. Continuing on with longer coats, I have this other one. It's a long line coat. It only has one button around the center. I'm not sure what the official term is. I wouldn't call this a boyfriend just because this fits a lot better on me than a boyfriend style. It also has nice huge lapels. It's super long. It hits me right below my ankle. This one I got from ASOS. And again, a coat like this is necessary for like more formal occasions that will come up during the holiday season and even after the holidays it's super warm and awesome next would be a jacket the end i don't think infamous is the right word the notorious is notorious the right word kim you tell me um well the also popular leather jacket this one is my holy grail go to this one I picked up from Old Navy like two winters ago um, and it's just it's a little bit longer it's not cropped it's a little bit longer which is what I like about it. it has a nice shape it has you know silver all over it silver hardware all over it and I think it was like around $40 which was a great steal now if you already have the quintessential black motorcycle jacket I highly suggest you invest in a colored version this one is army green i love army green because you can wear this in the spring and you can wear this you can wear this in the spring and you can wear this in the fall this one is from dorothy perkins i will definitely be adding this one to my closet sale just because the arms are tight i mean they were snug when i bought them but i was just like being really really stubborn and now that i've gained a little bit more weight they're even more tight so I think I'm going to have to let this one go and I got this in a UK 20 which is a 16. Now bear in mind the body of the coat fits really well. It's just the arms y'all. I just have big arms and when it comes to finding coats and jackets that's just what I have to deal with. I think what I like about it also is the fact that it has a plethora of you know metallic it has so much hardware on it hardware around the lapels on the body and it's a gunmetal color which is awesome so um the next coat would be this wrap coat again my camel coat is pretty similar in that they both have this tie this one however is a mid-length coat so it hits right above my knee this is a ralph lauren one it's brand new it's so well made like out of all of the coats that I've shown you this is the most well made one and again I love the exaggerated lapels it's very very flattering if you have a pear shape you definitely need a printed jacket or coat oh I had this one when I was voting so that's why that sticker's on there but anyway this one is great I picked this up two winters ago from forever 21 it's just a great piece to have again you need definitely a printed coat or a jacket and so speaking of that since that's a jacket here as another version a printed coat this one is from H&M again it's a couple of seasons old it's a car coat um, and it's like a flat, not flannel, plaid print. Plaid is, plaid is actually really big, big for fall. I know, right? 
um, but yes plaid is definitely still going strong this fall and, and winter so a coat like this is like evergreen like I don't think there's gonna be any fall and winter where I would not be able to wear this coat and this one's from H&M and I got this in a size 16 so the last but not least would definitely be a teddy coat now this coat, this one happens to be in black. I actually want to get this in a different color. I've seen some blush ones, some brown ones, a teddy coat or like a fur coat, something that has some volume to it. This one happens to be from H&M. Again, it was one of those finds, I think it was last winter. And I swear, as soon as I bought this coat, I wore it all the time. It is so warm. It is incredibly warm. And <laughs> And I love it so much like it's perfect for that like you know January February weather where it's like so frigid it has pockets on the sides and it's just it has some hooks to close it it's a really cute really nice shaggy coat um and of course it hits about mid around my hips it hits me around my hips so let me know definitely in the description bar below if I missed a category of coat or if there's a coat that I should have included in this guide I'd love to know also what coats are you picking up or are you looking forward to picking up this fall